All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Nathan Roman Frost, and we're back here yet again doing another episode prediction for this week's upcoming episode of The Walking Dead. This is The Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 12, entitled Not Tomorrow Yet. Now, as always, before I get into it, uh, we will start things off with a synopsis, but there are spoilers ahead. You know what I mean? I can't really predict a future episode of The Walking Dead without talking about some things that happened in the past. So if you guys haven't seen... All the way up until Season 6, Episode 11, entitled Not Sun Die, do not watch this episode prediction video. I mean, it kind of goes without saying, but just a warning so that you guys don't get mad at me. Alright? So, episode predictions goes as follows. The synopsis, you can read along on AMC.com if you guys want to. Synopsis is as follows. Rick and the group realize the only way to maintain the peace of Alexandria is to fight a new enemy. This time, though, our group might be outmatched that that's that's sort of an understatement <laughs> you know what i mean uh now i could go on in this episode prediction and just talk about things that have happened in the comic book the graphic novel uh but i'm not going to do that out of the sheer fact that i do not want to possibly you know ruin the show and everything like that with spoilers personally i have read the graphic novel all the way up until volume 24 and uh, obviously, I'm pretty excited to get volume 25 here in April, okay? So, I can't wait to see what comes of this whole Negan and Saviors thing. Obviously, we already heard the name mentioned in the TV show, so that goes without saying. I don't really have to, you know, sit here and remain silent on that point. They are going to be fighting Negan. They are going to be fighting the Saviors. And uh, it's not exactly going to go the way they originally plan. you know what I mean? At, uh, at Beginner's... At beginner's glance, you know, you might think that Rick's group is 100% just amazing and unbelievable, and they can't be outmatched, you know what I mean? Uh, but if you guys have not read the graphic novel, you are mistaken, my friend, because Negan's group is insane. It, it's insane. It's I can tell you this. It makes the Negan and the Saviors make the Governor look like Mr. Rogers. And that's putting it lightly. You know what I mean? Uh, now, <laughs> that might have been an old reference, and I do apologize. But mm, I'm, I'm so nervous. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm so, so nervous to see these future episodes. But I, at the same time, I'm very, very excited, obviously. Uh, but just knowing what happens in the comic books, just... Ugh, I want to talk about it so much here in the uh, in the prediction videos and everything like that. You know continuing for the next couple weeks until the season finale but i'm going to refrain from doing so and like i said the reason why is because i feel like there's going to be a lot of things that happen in this tv show from now on that are going to be sticking very very close to the comic book up until around season six a lot of things have stuck in close to the comic book but also a lot of things have gone away from the comic book you know what i mean a lot of things have gone away from the comic book and uh, ever since they got to Alexandria, they've been sticking very, very close to what the graphic novel has been. And that's that's the part that honestly scares me. You know what I mean? That That is what really, really scares me. Um, so, without further ado, they might get, they might get outmatched. Okay? Um, it's, not, it's not a might. They are going to get outmatched. Uh, if it goes like anything like they did in the graphic novel, and this isn't really a spoiler... Um, basically, they assault the group of the saviors, thinking that it's the whole group. It's an outpost. Negan has many, many outposts, and they're going to assault the outpost and get the general group very, very angry. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But, I'm going to predict the episode as far as I can tell with the promo and the sneak peek that we have. Now... There's only one sneak peek this week, guys, because I think it's going to be a pretty fucking insane episode. And I am sorry for the language, but if you guys are coming to an episode prediction video of The Walking Dead, and you guys know who Negan is, uh, well, you should probably get used to the la that language, because obviously it's not going to happen, you know, 100% of the time in the TV show, you know, Negan saying the word fuck, but they did say that they are going to record it and make that an unedited version inside of the Blu-ray, which I'm so happy about, guys. I really, really am. It's going to be amazing seeing it on TV. 
but at the same time, um, it's going to be unreal finally getting to see it on Blu-ray. Because it's going to be the exact same episode, but it's sort of going to be a different version of the episode. Now, according to some sources, for example, this has nothing to do with today's prediction video, uh, but the season finale is supposed to air once and only once with the uncensored version. So that, that we, we got to ask questions here, guys. What does uncensored version mean in general cable TV? Does that mean we are actually going to get to hear Negan say the F-bomb? You know, it, you know it, it's it's hard to say, you know what I mean? I can't imagine the introduction of Negan without it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I would understand why they would have to cut it. It's cable TV, you know what I mean? It's not prime time, it's not HBO, or, you know, anything like that. It's cable TV, and everybody who owns cable has AMC, which means all the children always, at all times, have access to it. Now, me personally, with swearing words, you know, it goes without saying that I don't fucking care. You know what I mean? It's just a word, in my personal opinion. You guys can disagree with me if you guys want to. But, obviously, other people have other opinions, and there's obviously rules to TV, and I understand that. Uh, I just, I don't, I don't see it happening. You know, the introduction of Negan without at least one F-bomb. I, I just don't see it. If you guys have read the comic book, you know that every other fucking word that Negan says is fuck. And that, that's just that. You know what I mean? So anyway, as follows. The promo, everybody, um, is basically exactly what happens in the sneak peek, just with the voiceover of Rick instead of Rick actually saying it. You know what I mean? So uh, he's basically inside of a church gathering his whole group at Alexandria. You know, Morgan, Michonne, Abraham, uh, you know, a bunch of the other people from Alexandria. Eugene's there. Aaron's there. Uh, Maggie, Sasha, Glenn, everybody is there. His whole group, Gabriel, everybody. He's not leaving anybody out of this one because he wants it to be a group decision. Okay, so he gets there, and this is what happens in the sneak peek. And like I said, this is what's aired basically over the promo. But we'll talk about the sneak peek, I guess, first because that's more of a general sense. He's basically in a church talking to them all inside of Gabriel's church and basically saying, you know, we have to fight in order to survive. Sooner or later, later, Negan and these saviors would have found us and they would have tried to own us. So we have to take them down. We have to take the fight to them before they do to us. And uh, he basically explains, you know, Negan uh, basically, you know, took the ha the hilltop, you know, hostage for half their supplies in order for them not to kill him. And that's just, that's just not the way. You know what I mean? It's obviously a psycho group. Rick realizes that. He just doesn't realize how goddamn big of a mistake that he's about to make um, in attacking them first, you know what I mean? And if he was going to attack them first, I just wish that he probably could have done it on the main base instead of what he's going to do, which is assault an outpost, which is obviously not confirmed. I mean, he could very well just go to the main base and see Negan right off the bat. I just don't think it's going to happen because all the info that we've had up until now has pointed for Negan to basically debut on the uh, the season finale, so that'll be episode 16. Obviously, tomorrow's episode, or not tomorrow's, but Sunday's episode, rather, is, uh, you know, episode 12. So we're still four episodes away from that. And uh, that's what happens. Basically, him, him, he says, you know, we have to take the fight to them. You know, we have to fight, and uh, this is the only way we're going to survive. This is how we keep this place going. This is how we keep this place fit. And, uh, you know, this is the way that we do things. And... Uh, he basically says, you know, it has to be a group decision, and then sort of leaves that to them, and that's the end of the sneak peek. It's not a very long one. I mean, well, I mean, it's it's a decent sized sneak peek for what we've you know been used to, uh, but there's no two sneak peeks this time. There's only one. So, anyway, the promo is very much of the same thing, just with the voiceover and some shots of the church and stuff like that. Just with the promo, you see them riding down the road in the RV. Most likely, you know, that's a clip of them actually going home from the hilltop to Alexandria. That's my best guess. Or my, that's my best guess, rather. And, uh, yeah, obviously they get to Alexandria. They arrive there. We actually get to see, you know, the group and everybody like that looking like they're going out to do the mission in this episode. Whether... Or not, we'll see that, and we'll see that maybe at the end, it'll leave us on a cliffhanger, we really don't know. But, they do like, like, they're assaulting some sort of a building. There are, they're, they are armed, basically, to the teeth. 
You know what I mean? Abraham's taking point with his rifle. It looks like they're salting a building. And, uh, I don't know, man. This shit's got me nervous. That's all I can really say. This shit has got me nervous. And, uh, I honestly can't wait for it. And hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. Because this episode, this episode, rather, um, is going to be insane. If I think, if what's going to happen in this episode is what's going to happen, if this is what I think is going to happen, is going to happen. That was a lot of happens in one sentence, but I apologize. It's it's going to be insane, and I just can't wait for it. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and spoil it for you guys. If you pl- guys plan on reading the graphic novel, or you guys just don't want to be, you know, spoiled if this thing actually happens in the TV show, you want it to be all a surprise. This is what I'm taking from the footage and everything like that that we've been given freely. You know, this is no exclusive. I'm not spoiling it or anything like that. You guys can go look at the sneak peeks and well and as well rather and these are just my thoughts. You know what I mean? So anyway, not a very long prediction video and I do apologize for it. It usually goes on to about 15 minutes, but uh I'm going to cut it short here so I don't sit here and ramble on and stutter and everything like that like I have been doing for the past couple minutes and I do apologize for that. Um but that's pretty much it, guys. Episode comes this Sunday. I cannot wait for it. This is Season 6, Episode 12, entitled Not Tomorrow Yet. If you guys agree with anything that I think is going to happen in this episode, let me know in the comment section below or by hitting the video up with a like. It really would help out a lot. Also, tell me your thoughts and opinions on what you guys think is going to happen in this episode. You know, base your judgment on the graphic novel. Let there be spoilers in the comics. Or in the comments, rather, about the comics. <laughs> um... If you guys want to talk about the comics and everything like that down below, feel free to do so. We'll have a little discussion down there of what we think is going to happen. Maybe some a, a character death, you know, something like that. Um, from what I'm seeing with Abraham, something may happen very, very soon. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next one. And until then, bye for now.